What's going on, everybody? So I went out to a property and uh, they had a PTAC unit that wasn't cooling. Uh, turns out that the compressor wasn't coming on. It was trying to, but it wasn't coming on. Uh, so it turns out it was a bad capacitor. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to test your dual capacitor. This is Air Ride with Dave. Welcome to the channel everybody. So to access the capacitor, you're gonna have to uh, open up the uh, uh, control panel. Uh, and to do so, you simply remove the three screws. You have one here, uh, you have one here, and you have one here on the side. And that will allow you to uh, open up the control panel, like so. And in there, uh, you can see the capacitor, which is this one right here. And so uh, you can choose to either test it there, or uh, simply bring it out uh, by removing it. There's just uh, one screw uh, disconnecting the wires and you can test it outside. All right, everybody. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just simply going to use another capacitor. Uh, I did not remove this capacitor from the PTAC unit. So I'm just going to use this uh, capacitor to show you guys how to test uh, the dual capacitor. Okay. So... Um, to test, uh, you are going to simply put your voltmeter on uh, microfarad and you, we want to see uh, the rating on the capacitor. In this case, it's uh, 30 uh, microfarad uh, and 5 microfarad. Okay, the, so the 30 is for the compressor and the 5 is for the condenser motor. Alright, so um, before you test, I would recommend to short out the capacitor. These things do tend to uh, store energy, all right. So, by uh, to do that, um, you can either use a uh, metal surface or just simply use some pliers and just show it out from common to dramatic and from common to fan. All right. So to do so, just put your metal pliers like this and do the same thing for the other side like so all right so how do you know which one is which the capacitor is con marked uh you probably see it uh, you probably see it. it says fan on there and you can see erm and you got your the common side right there all right so uh to test the compressor side uh we're supposed to be getting 30 Okay, so you simply go from common side to the erratic. And let me see, I move my hands out the way there. All right, so this one is giving me 25.9. All right, so if the capacitor was bad, you would not get any readings at all whatsoever or some really, really low uh, readings, okay? And uh, uh, that will, if you're getting some low readings, then obviously you guys are gonna have to replace that capacitor, okay? So to test the fan side, it's, it's same exact thing. So just uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, going on the hermetic side, you just come on the fan side, the other one. And so what we do is test from common to fan. Move my hand here. See 4.78, which is pretty good. Okay, so uh, if you're not getting any readings again, uh, if you're not getting any kind of readings, or if you have some really low uh, readings, then uh, uh, definitely replace that capacitor. All right, so uh, um, in my case, uh, I had a capacitor that was. Uh, not giving me any readings at all whatsoever. Uh, replace that capacitor, that compressor came right on. All right, so. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.